Google Sites versus Blogger in 2022, which is the best website builder. Hey there guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video we'll be comparing which of these platforms is better for your blogs and websites. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. Now we all know that Blogger.com and Google Sites are both provided by Google. Blogger and Google Sites are actually very different though. As by the name, you can tell that Blogger.com is mainly for blogs and then Google Sites is mainly for making websites but you can actually create blogs on Google Sites as well. But the theme and everything on Google Sites actually gives you the idea that it's mainly made for making websites. Now, let's talk about the features that they offer, their main differences, and the differences of their SEO, how they work, and if they provide you any profit. Let's go to blogger.com first. You can actually have a very good opportunity to create SEO-friendly content here. So that's the point of blogger.com. You can actually go ahead and add different customized keywords and you can actually play around your blog a lot. And it gives you a lot of options, like for example, the title and the headings and you can add labels or custom permalinks, your location and many more in your blog. So that actually helps you with your SEO friendly content. In this regard, blogger.com is actually very SEO friendly. On the other hand, Google Sites isn't as good when it comes to SEO because it's not that SEO friendly. I just want to give you a little disclaimer about how to create a blog on blogger.com and how to create a website on Google Sites. There are already videos out there that you can go to and find out what I'm talking about. But here's an example of a website that's been created using Google Sites. Now, creating this website, you can see that you can actually add different text, titles, and subtitles, but when it comes to SEO, Google Sites doesn't really provide what we are looking for. I mean, the website looks good, you can add images to it, and your website does look like a beautiful website. If we head on over to the second page and we take a look at the website, you can actually say that, oh, okay, that's a cool looking website, but it doesn't help you regarding the SEO. So that's a very major drawback in Google Sites. In addition, there are not many labels and different tags you can add to your website or different descriptions and other stuff, so that's actually not very helpful for most people if you're looking for a website. It's actually a very big con for Google Sites, because nowadays there are website creating platforms that actually provide you with a lot of SEO friendly options. Now back to Blogger. So if we look at this part, you can see that I can actually check out the stats for my blog. You'll be able to see how many posts you have and all their individual statistics. You can also check out the different comments, earnings, pages, and all of these other provided settings and info. I'll talk more about these later in the video. Now the thing with Blogger, on Google Sites, it actually allows you to create pages, different subpages, and you can create a subpage of a subpage of a subpage and so on. So that's actually good in that manner. I would say I like Google Sites because it actually allowed me to create different subpages for my website. And if I want to organize my content and split it into different categories, Google Sites actually provides me with those options. Whereas on Blogger, you have your blog, but the blog doesn't come with the number of pages Google Sites provide. Blogger is more of going for a minimalistic kind of layout where your website wouldn't be too complicated and you can keep things organized and make it look really professional and user-friendly. I think that's why people like to keep everything in one page here. So moving on, we're going to head to earnings, but before that, let me show you around the websites real quick. If we go to the settings here on Blogger, you'll be able to edit or change your blog's title, description, and there's this option for you if you don't want your content to be shown. And you can also add an age requirement. Then there are some different permissions for the comments, so you can actually customize them here. There's also an email option, formatting, and tags, which is also actually very cool. When we go to the settings of Google Sites, you can see that there are not many options available here, but you can go ahead and check out these stats here as well, and there are different options for you. 
For example, there are themes available and you can actually add a lot of stuff. For example, images and YouTube videos, maps and documents that are not available on blogger.com. But again, I'm saying that blogger.com is for blogs and Google Sites is for websites. So they have different options for the blog or website you're creating that they might or may not need. Okay, so now let's talk about the earnings. There's a very big difference in blogger.com and in Google Sites. You can actually earn through your blog on blogger.com and that's actually a very big advantage because everyone likes to earn. Who doesn't like to earn, right? What you have to do is create your AdSense account and then you have your blog to earn AdSense money through. But on Google Sites, you can't do that. You can't add ads to your website and that's a big drawback so that gives an idea that Google Sites is actually made for making basic websites. If you have a YouTube channel or Google account, you can go ahead and create a simple website. But if you want to earn money through it or you have an e-commerce business, then you can't do that through Google Sites. So talking more about the earnings, you can go to Google AdSense and you'll see that you can create an account right here and you can put ads on your blogs and earn money through it. Then you can see all of your earnings on blogger.com. And as I've mentioned, Google Sites doesn't give you this option. Now let me tell you that there are different restrictions when you're adding ads on your blog. For example, you need to have 10 blogs and a certain amount of views that Google AdSense actually requires for you to be able to add different ads on your blog. So that will take some time, but once you reach that point, you can actually start making money here on Blogger, which means Blogger is a much more profitable website than Google Sites. So when you make a blog on blogger.com, you'll have the ability to earn money and it'll give you profit. You'll just be making blogs and earning money. It can become a very profitable business for you. So on that note, that concludes our video for today. If you guys enjoyed or gotten something out of this, please do leave a like and maybe even a comment down below to let us and future viewers know about what you thought of it. You can also help out by commenting about anything you think we missed that you want us to cover in a future video. If you want to learn more about how you can earn money online, then go ahead and check out the videos on our channel walking you guys through countless ways of how to do so. If there are any topics you guys want us to tackle, then as I've mentioned, please do leave them in the comment section down below. And while you're at it, consider subscribing to stay up to date with our latest tutorials, website comparisons, NFT walkthroughs, and so much more. So again, thank you guys so, so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.